So you guys, these are the kittens. And she has moved these kittens four times. So this is behind my shoe shelf in my room. And this one right here, I don't care what happens. This one right here always ends up by itself. She delivered four, one died. But she is a new mommy. So I guess that happens. She is outside right now. This is the first time she's been out since she delivered them. Night before last. But she's going to come back in this house because, um, yeah. These are her babies, not mine. Um, I moved this up some so she would have more space. Because I felt like she needed more space. Um, you guys, what's funny is, is that. I was sleeping in the bed. This heifer, she had been whining all day. So I was, I had said like two days before she did it, I'm like, she's about to have these babies. This heifer jumped in the bed with me. It was like, yeah. And she jumped in the bed, she was laying there. And then I'm asleep, and all of a sudden I feel something wet. I'm like, what the hell? I know she didn't. This heifer's water broke in the bed. So cat's water break too. So I jumped up. I took all the bedding off. I scrubbed my bed. I threw the sheet because it didn't really get anything on it. But it was just a little damp. I threw the sheet in the liner, laundry, the washer. And I took the cover and said, oh, that's yours from this day forward. And I put it up under the stairs in the basement. Because I thought that was a good place. Nobody goes there. It's just up under the stairs. And she had been going back there recently. A lot. So I put it there. And she delivered all of them there, but then once they were all delivered and she was settled, she moved them. Then she woke me up the next morning to let me know she moved them like, you guys, I'm serious. She woke she me out and me out in my face until I got up. And then she was like, walked away and I didn't go that way. And she came back meowing, meowing. So I walked with her to show me where she had put the babies. Then after that, I'm in there redoing my curtains, and this heifer came and put them right there where I was putting up curtains. Huh. Then, I guess that wasn't good enough. Then she moved them and went up under the couch. Then I just seen, I came in my room. I didn't even notice that she had did it. And I heard, meow, meow. And I'm looking for them, and here they are. This is where she's put them. I was about to redo my room this weekend. But I guess I won't be doing that now. So. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm thinking that this one that's always to itself is going to be the baddest freaking one. I'm really thinking that. I don't know yet. We'll see. The one that's by itself and the one that's closest to the core look the most alike the other one is darker than them that one over there is darker in shape but that one barely cries this one by itself always cries you guys and literally she just moved this one that's by itself over there by them and this one is back by itself again clearly i need to take all this up and it's amazing how much dirt gets behind stuff and you don't even know. That's why it's just good to always move your furniture around to clean. Because now I see how much dirt has got back here. And I'm going to have to get down there and plug that plug back in because I see it's coming out. And I know she's done that. But I just thought I'd share this with you guys. And remember to keep good energy. To always stay positive in any and everything you do. Regardless of the outcome, stay positive and block negative energy. Block, block negative energy. Keep good energy. Your girl is out. Do, sis.